This is brought to you by Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook and Earth on YouTube. Garden in 2019, cherry trees. I tried this with water and I did everything on that and water I uh, put the planters inside and you can tell all of them except for these two got moisture now when I put the water in before I could even get it leveled I used up three buckets of water and on the fourth bucket it's plenty. now like I was saying uh, I uh, started off with three buckets of water trying to get it full and uh, I didn't get it full until the fourth one because I was trying to level it off. I couldn't level this off after the fourth bucket of water and when I did finally get it leveled off I uh, was able to get the water in put the uh, fourth one in actually when it was leveled finally and then I put two more of them in that, which was six buckets. And then seventh bucket I did um, just as it was getting ready for my time. I lost a whole lot of water. There's still water dripping out there, so it is leaking. For me, being more efficient, what we've uh, come up with, it was my idea, and I mentioned it to my brother, but I can put these rails up around it right here and then I take topsoil and I fill up the bottom part and put the pots down on it and we do a slow drip water supply for this to keep it moist and it'll come up into the pots and at the same time we can grow stuff down in the middle so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to cut this wood clean it up this is some of the wood that I had laying around the dog that I've been wanting to use and uh, figured I would make something out of it so after I get that done I will get back to you and show you what it looks like and here on the edges we won't have those gaps there for a reason if water comes in and it overflows during raining time then we can have water back out of that where it doesn't it doesn't rise over the top of that we've been having a lot of rain so that's the reason why I wanted to put this edge around. Okay, I've gotten the wooden walls. Okay, sorry for that. Like I was saying, I got the wooden wall set up, and right here, you see, got them fastened up on there. In the time I was doing that last little bit of video. Today, 
started raining. I also added uh, freaking, uh, some dirt down on the bottom, place of water, where maybe it will help transmit some moisture down, up into the bottom of the pot. I uh, wanted, to, wanted to do experiment with dirt using grippers that my brother has inside. But it started raining, so it's not going to be too well. But anyhow, this is the wall for the little boundary that we set up to uh, keep the dirt inside if a big uh, rain came. We that part open, and down at the other end, we did the same thing. If it does fill the water, it's a chance to. This is what I've tried. I'm not sure if it's going to work. And those lines are shorter than what I thought they were. But I wanted to give that a try to see if it could feed water to those pots, to that soil down. We might take and mix a coconut hair in with that soil, or with this soil, too. And we're going to keep it at a thin amount of dirt so that and like grow um, mint and uh, seasonings like that inside it. Keep it, you know, shallow. But I already took a day to get get this video finished, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. I'll show you in more later on. Okay, so. What I'm going to do now is I put down the old soil that I had there before, which I showed you, and I'm putting uh, some of the coca hair, coconut hair that we have in between the aisles to go on top. And I took out the dripper because it didn't seem to be working much. And plus, I came out here this morning, and there was they were knocked over, so most likely the animals are going to be causing problems with it and this is where I'm getting coconut hair but that uh, it was a lot bigger than this before and we had that bag over the top of it and old it in and I went ahead and used what was in the bag and I'm going to use more to put in the piles so take some pictures and I just wanted to fill you in on what was next on this. Take some pictures and be back with you on this. Okay, I put the coconut here down in with the dirt and I filled it up with some more water there or bucket but this is what it looks like it today take some pictures then I took and brought out all the or the the other plant pots and everything on the side. Then in here too, the lab in the middle is there. Okay, these are the progress on my cherry trees and what they're trying to grow. I don't know what those are, so I'm going to keep letting them grow. Got that. Got some of these. Got this right here. That might be cherry tree. I don't know. Still trying to identify them. Found that there's like over a thousand varieties of cherry trees. So. 
and this is the grow bed here. Got this right here, that right there, which I'm trying to figure out what they are. When they grew up, they kind of look like cherry trees, but keeping an eye on them. There doesn't seem to be any lavender development here, but I could be wrong. Still in between on trying to identify what lavender looks like. After this may you just go ahead and turn this into a pepper a grow box for the peppers. This is what it looks like. A lot of this got flooded out during a lot of the storms we had. I took some of them and put them on the porch because they look like they might have some trees growing on. Trying to grow palm grant and cherry trees. These are just weeds. <clears throat> Got hit pretty hard. This is very This is uh, May the 18th of 2018. I'm in zone 18 or zone 6, Southern Illinois. So this is Roger Hanson. This was brought to you by Hanson Mobile Advertising on Facebook and Earth on YouTube. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, share, make comments, and feedback.